until we have something like a stroke or have an injury down one side, you don't really realise how what's involved in that until you find, oh, I can't do that as well as I could before. I was semi-retired and I was tired literally to play tennis. So I was a very active tennis player. My favourite sport was walking everywhere. I was a motorcycle touring all over England, camping out, um, faking photographs as a photographer. This class is um, called an exercise for stroke survivors or exercise after stroke. Um, basically it sort of mimics functions that we'll do in daily living. So hence it, it's not conventional where it's just cycling, just lifting weights. We try and mimic exercises and movements that people are going to be performing in daily lives. See so how the class starts is we start off with a warm up. So we normally start seated, even though everybody pretty much walks into the room, we start seated. So the main thing about warm-up is just getting the joints and everything mobilised, getting the muscles warm and the body prepared for what they're about to do. So it will consist of some chair walking, some movements of the joints, ankle loosening, shoulder loosening, maybe even some neck exercises. Um, we'll do some movements in the chair with eventually moving to standing, doing stuff behind the chair having the chair there for support and basically just getting the body mobilised, stretching the muscles a little bit, preparing them and then from there we move on into what we call our circuit. So our circuit consists of sort of several stations. We've got press-ups against the wall. It's the best to do it just to straight it on push this one on top then it can. We've got a step like a mini step which mimics basically going up and down stairs so we'll step in exercises we've got one that we call hand to knee which is like a coordination exercise so we tend to have that where they're, they're standing with their backs against the wall and basically you're touching your knee with the opposite hand so you lift up your right knee try and touch it with your left hand and vice versa we've got that We've got one that we call a ball lift, which is taking like a, a, a large, a small beach ball and basically trying to keep your hands level. Yeah, so not favouring the strongest hand underneath the ball, but trying to keep your hands level so even the weak side is, is working. You're trying to engage both sides of the body and basically just raise the ball like face level and then lower it down to your waist. But we've got some upright bikes. So we have people sort of doing uh, sessions on the bike. I tend to work on about, say, six or seven minutes. Um, the way how we change it each week is maybe we'll increase the resistance or lower the resistance depending. And then we have the, the bog standard sit to stand, which is my favourite exercise, which is basically sitting in a chair and then practising standing up correctly, which is something we all take for granted. And then once we finish the circuit, we have like another seated section where we'll do, um, again, we practice the sit to stand, we'll do some band exercises. We do a particular one to sort of help strengthen the posture and the upper back. Um, again, we do another squatting and lifting exercise. For that, we use the poles. And again, that's again about balance, trying to coordinate the two sides, coordinate, should I say, the two sides of the body. So again, keeping your hands level as you lift and lower the poles. And then uh, yeah, another leg strengthening exercise. And then we'll do some cool down stretches, some mobility exercises, and then that's the class. So this place has been a lifesaver for me. You know, even though I haven't been here for some time, so I haven't been well. But this, these sort of things, these classes are fantastic. It's just my daily getting about and the confidence that comes with having done things here and seeing what I can do here. Well, it's, it's gradually getting better because I'm getting more used to it. What I didn't think twice of, I have to think about now. But um, it, obviously, I, I know I've had a stroke. I've, I know that I've got, I can't just swing out of bed as I used to. I've got to pull the covers out, pull the leg out, because you can't feel anything. And getting in, you have to make sure the covers are all right back, lift the leg into it, then pull the covers over. As before, you just tuck your feet in, little things like that. And But tripping over, getting upstairs, You've got to make sure each step is accounted for because you can actually end up with a foot halfway across a step. As soon as you put any pressure on it, it just slips off because you can't feel where your foot is. So you've got to make sure the whole foot is on the step. And they sort of teach you these things like the step up, step down, put the whole foot onto it, lift up and down. It's getting better. <laughs> Camden Active have uh, helped me because when I had a stroke, after I was discharged, discharged going home, uh, not much exercise, so since I came here, 
and things are improving now. Yeah, I can see myself improve. Yeah, because the Camden Active exercise group is very good, help me. Yeah, and especially Martin, he tell me so many things which I can do at home when I'm at home. And as you can see, I'll show you some thing here. That press up, yeah. The Martin told me how the good, uh, the good way to do it so that I can move this arm, you know. So, yeah, this group helped me a lot. Now I come here, I come by myself. It is through this class because of the Martin and people are here, encouragement with the class. Uh, it's improved me, yeah. Um, I like the exercise, eh? and um, I, uh, it is useful for me to do, to, particularly to use my left side, particularly um, as you become lazy and you tend to always say you know, the side that hurts, and um, this exercise is brilliant these exercises. Camden Active Health Team, primarily their aim is to get those that are not as active, more active within the borough of Camden. It's, it's about health inequalities. So basically those that are sort of like borderline who have got minor ailments, rather than going to your doctor for medication, hopefully your doctor sends them to us for exercise. Right. The Active Health Team runs the, a referral scheme in Camden, so basically all Camden GPs, most of the physio teams, or in case of Camden, it's called the Camden Reach team at the moment, and they consist of physios and OTs, occupational therapists, that will go around the homes of people that have had strokes, heart attacks, um, the elderly, fallers, things like that, maybe even people with chronic chest disease problems, and they do assessments in their homes and stuff like that. So we get referrals from them, we're getting referrals from the, the, the normal GPs within Camden, and um, yeah, some from various hospitals and so forth. I would highly recommend it. It's been wonderful for me anyway. And uh, when I came here, thank God for Martin over there, who has another class on a Tuesday at, at Swiss Cottage. So I do a lot of work with him, and it's been fantastic. It's been fantastic. Extraordinary. You know, I thought I was going to be chair bound for the rest of my life, but I wasn't. You know, so it's been a, an eye opener and very encouraging. I still need a stick. But, you know, I've seen people with a stroke, far worse than I am, far worse than I am. So I'm grateful for small mercies, you know. So um, that's it, in a nutshell, basically.